hello and welcome back to the studio it's friday and it's a quick tip so gesso g e double s o what is gesso gesso is a primer that you put onto a canvas before you paint now it's highly recommended that that's what you do but if you don't want to do that that's entirely fine it's up to you um, but i like to put a gesso on at least um, three coats of gesso before i start to play acrylic paints it's used in oil painting as well and it's just to basically just to seal the surface of your of your canvas or board or whatever you're going to paint on and it's just a nice clean environment then because we don't know who's touched the canvases we bought whether it's grease dust etc so it's got to be prepared that's recommended whether you do that it's entirely up to yourself so let me show you a quick way hey, welcome thanks for stopping by it's time to learn with our friend clive so grab your brush have a great time and this is a recipe that I use and I'm just going to make a small batch you can make a batch whatever you want and I want to show you that it's not complicated you don't have to measure stuff out you don't have to think about it too much this is quite easy now I'm using I'm using this particular paint um, you can use any household paint that you want and I recommend you use household paint because proper acrylic paint um, such as titanium white which comes into pots like this uh, can be very 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 expensive and you don't want expensive you want cheap now some of these paints say they're latex paints but they're not and they are actually acrylic paint the only difference is that there's a low pigment base in these paints and they are designed to fade that's why they are household paints because you print them on your walls and over a period of a year or two years they start a discolour and that's what the manufacturers want they want you to buy more paint otherwise if they just sold pure acrylic paint it wouldn't fade <laughs> very very lightly that it would fade so i'm using a natural calico because i just happened to use this you can use any particular color you want i think natural calico is nice but you know brilliant white is absolutely fine as well and that is not a problem i just happen to have some of this i'm going to just put a couple of spoons of this paint in just for purposes of this demonstration it's like that there you go so you need to look at your paint it's quite runny it's it, there's a quite a lot of water in this paint believe it or not there's quite a lot of water in this paint and it's quite thin it's not as thick as acrylic okay so that's it that's all we need so maybe you want to just think about maybe one cup you can just make a small amount of this so you say one cup of of paint there we are add a little bit more water just a just a little drop like that you don't need a lot just eyeball it this is what i do i eyeball my mixtures so basically what i'm looking for is something that will just run off the spoon like that can you see that something that'll just run off the spoon that's what i'm looking for now chalk we can use many different things we can use chalk we can use school chalk just ground up i use champagne chalk because it's um it's nice and white um and i got loads of this anyway um you can use baking powder you can use anything really that's got a grittiness to it um marble dust um that's it's basically dust that's been um, when they grind down bits of marble and stuff like that, you know, from the manufacturing companies. So what I'm looking for is a gritty texture. So I'm just going to put a little bit in like that. And then I'm going to mix that in with my paint. Now, I don't want to thicken the paint up too much, but I want a little bit of grittiness to it. Maybe a little bit more. So let's just say... Um, couple of teaspoonfuls maybe half a dozen teaspoonfuls or something like that there's your acrylic paint you just want to stir that up give it a good stir just like that let me just get this out of the camera shot give it a good stir like that so all you've got is basically paint with chalk in it it's a chalk paint now if you want to use 
uh, if you want paint chalk paint for doing projects and things this is the way you do it you just add chalk to your paint it's all chalk paint is is paint with chalk in it we get a brush let's get a brush let's get a brush 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 I got a I got an old paint in there that I that I've been playing on no pussy head <laughs> get a bit of of this spread it on you can see it covers really well it's got a bit of grittiness to it if you want it a little bit more um, of a grip then I'll add a little bit more chalk to your paint um, you could store this in in a container make sure it's airtight and I just use I just make small batches at a time you don't have to make big batches or you can just make the amount that you need for the particular session you do a painting on so we'll just you can see that's a lovely color and it's a lovely coverage and it's got chalk in it I'm just going to dry that over very quickly now with the hair dryer might not be as dry as I want it but for camera's sake and what I normally do then is I if I can if I can get it without knocking my camera off Oop, there we go <laughs> ah, dear me, uh. what I normally do then is get a sanding block like that and I just give it a light sand You can hear the roughness of the the chalk. So as I said, if you wanted to add a little bit more chalk, let's just say you wanted to add a bit more chalk to that mix, you think, oh, you know, it's not as chalky as I want it to be. So just get a little bit more chalk, whap it in there, like that, give it a good old stir. Now you could put some stretch wrap over this with elastic band. You know you could this could stay this will stay fresh for, a, for for a good number of weeks actually you just got to make sure that you add a little bit of water to it occasionally to stop it drying out and you think okay well I'll try that now and then you can do the second coat then on your painting on your canvas sorry well, what a wonderful way to save yourself some money and make yourself some gesso it's as easy as that it's not complicated there's no complicated formulas you can play around and you can have this as don't don't put too much um chalk in because it'll go thick and like paste you don't want it like thick and paste you want it you just want a little bit of grip that's all do you want to put a lot of do you want to put a lot of chalk into the paint and that's going to be nice and stable it really is because most paints today like I said are acrylic so there we are save some money make some homemade gesso and I hope that's another fantastic tip it's a little bit damp but if you could you're the the chalk in there there we go it's time to learn with our friend Clyde. Uh, oh, how to gesso your own canvas, I should say, make so your own gesso. <laughs> so, I hope you've enjoyed time. that tip. I'll see you next Friday for another one, 7.30 London time. Bye. Subscribe.